In the wake of the recent terror alert by the U.S. Embassy, the presidential candidate of the Young Progressive Party, Prince Malik Ado Ibrahim, has asked the federal government to show empathy towards Nigerians by availing the general public of information that could save lives. Now, he made the appeal during a press conference on the State of the Nation held at the YPP's National Secretariat in Abuja. Ado Ibrahim said it was pertinent that the government remained at the front burner of disseminating information on issues of security to Nigerians. He said Nigeria needs to embrace modern ways of doing things, saying that the old and archaic ways are gone. ...to capture that, that uh, bad deed or that, that um, uh, terrorist activity or whatever it might be, kidnapping, um, you need power for those CCTVs to work. You need power for transmission of information and data. Um, so we're struggling to fix one problem when the, the, the real crux of the issue um, cannot be sorted out. So we're relying on mobile phones, and again, you need to charge the mobile phone to get that information, as any government should have security of the country and its people as its number one concern. Speaking on the move by the federal government to redesign the nation's currency, he said the money politics should not be the reason for changing the nation's currency. Um, but that shouldn't be the reason why we are changing our currency. Um, typically, most countries, every eight years, there's a change of currency or, or modified currency. This is supposed to allow the change of the currency, the cleaning of the notes, and above all, the ability to... to uh, curtail any kind of um, negative activity that's going on with your currency. Um, I believe that, again, our government of the day is showing that there's discord within the government. When the federal minister of finance is telling the CBN that they're not aware of the currency change.